2nd of December 1988. The second shuttle flight after the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. And the third flight of Space Shuttle Atlantis. The mission was to last four days, nine hours, five minutes and 37 seconds. And almost every second of this mission was secret. The orbiter flight control surfaces, such as Elevon speed brakes and rudders, being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to ensure they're ready for launch. STS-27 carried a classified payload for the U.S. Department of Defense. Pilot Guy Gardner now flipping the three switches in the cockpit to start each of the three APUs. Ten, we have a go for main engine start. Seven, six, we have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. Atlantis begins another space voyage as it clears the tower. The vessel's heat shielding was substantially damaged during liftoff, impacting the right wing. When Commander Hoot Gibson saw the damage, he said, we're all going to die. It was a situation that was similar to the one that would prove fatal 15 years later. After completing the mandatory messing around in space, the crew got down to their real job. They were to deploy a single satellite, USA-34. This is identified as La Crosse 1, a side-looking radar all-weather surveillance satellite for the USNRO and the CIA. When the large satellite was launched, there was a problem. Unofficially, an EVA was conducted to save the mission. Undoubtedly, what they did was to retrieve the satellite using the Canadian arm and redeploy it. Atlantis's thermal protection system had sustained extensive damage during the flight. Material from the right-hand solid booster had hit the orbiter about 85 seconds into the flight. STS-27 crew also saw white material hitting the windshield during takeoff. They used the Canadian robot arm to inspect the underside of the shuttle, but the limited resolution and range of the arm made it impossible to determine the full extent of the damage. Vehicle now at 2,500 feet, uh, initiating its pre-flare maneuver to adjust its uh, glide slope angle to 1.5 degrees. Main gear landing, main landing gear being deployed. Gear is down and locked. Velocity 400 feet per second. Upon landing, the magnitude of the damage astonished NASA. There were over 700 damaged tiles. Some were missing altogether. Tiles located over the steel mounting plate of the L-band antenna perhaps prevented a burn-through of the sort that would ultimately doom Columbia in 2003. STS-27 was the most secret mission the Space Shuttle ever did and potentially one of its most dangerous. The truth is out there. <laughs>